Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to divide a circle into eight equal parts. So we are going to be divide a circle into eight equal parts. So that's what we are going to be looking at in this video. So before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, uh, please click on subscribe button below. It's absolutely free to subscribe. So just click on that button with subscribe written on it and a little bell icon. Alright, so it's at the lower right of your screen right now, so just click on it. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. And let me know in the comment section below if you have just subscribed. Okay, so thank you very much once again. So now we already have our circle that we are going to be dividing into x equal parts. Now it is also important to know that irrespective of the radius of the circle that you are working with, the step you are going to be using in this video is still the same thing. So that's why I have, I have gone ahead to draw the circle. So now once you have your circle, the one thing I want you to also note is to Note the center of the circle. So for my own circle, this is the center here. So let me call it point O. This is the center. So that uh, point that you are see seeing there represents the center. So I'm going to draw my diameter. So the diameter is from one part of the circumference, which will pass through the center to the opposite side of the circumference from where you started. So let me call this point A and then point B. So we have a diameter AB. So now we are dividing it, dividing into eight equal parts. Remember, in a circle, we have the total angle in a circle is 360 degrees. So that will be 360 degrees divided by eight. That will give us 45 degrees. So that means each of those angles uh, we are going to be having, each of those parts are going to be at 45 degrees apart. So this is what I'm saying. So if you have a circle and you have to divide it into eight equal parts, so that means each of these angles here which will be at 45 degrees. So that's what I mean. So now in dividing it into eight equal parts, after drawing the diameter, we bring in our protractor. So you place your protractor at point O. Make sure your protractor is properly placed. It's very important. You place it at point O. So having done that, you measure 45 degrees. So on your protractor, this is 45 degrees. I've marked 45. It's between 40 and 50. So 45 degrees. So plus another 45. Plus another 45. That will give us 90. So plus another 45, that would give us so uh, 135. And then plus another 45, that will give us 180. So I haven't noted those points. So this is it. This is we've noted this is 145, this is 90, and then this is 135. So the next thing we are going to do is from those points, so from this point now, this is it. You are going to make sure that it's on a straight line to the center of the circle. Then you draw a line from the circumference, pass through those lines, to pass through the center to the opposite side, like this. So we repeat the same thing here. So make sure this is the point you mark. This is at 90. So for this is the second 45 degrees. So this is it here. So I can pick it from the circumference of the circle to pass through that line pass through the center to the opposite side and then we pick the last one the same thing so with this now we already have our circle divided into eight equal parts so this is one two three four five six seven and then eight so if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And importantly, if you are yet to subscribe to our channel, PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button. And if you also want to know how to divide a circle into other number of parts, maybe into 5, 6, 9, 10, 12, and so on, kindly check the description of this video. You'll find a link to all those videos. And you can also check our playlist on technical and engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos, especially if you are into, if you offer technical, technical drawing or engineering drawing. I believe uh, there are a lot of videos there I believe you'll find very helpful. So that is it guys, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.